C.T. Vivian was a giant of the 1960s civil rights movement here in Nashville and nationwide. He died today at the age of 95. News Force Terry Bulger shows us how he spent his life leading the fight for change. I met C.T. Vivian 20 years ago in his Atlanta church. The sermon he gave that Sunday preached civil rights and how really black lives matter. A passion for life and civil rights drove C.T. Vivian. In 1960, he came to Nashville in the middle of the downtown sit-ins, where blacks were refused service at lunch counters and met with violence. We did it because we had the eagerness by the people we were dealing with to get rid of this whole system of segregation that was obviously evil. I mean, evil. I don't mean uh, it wasn't good. I mean, it was evil. He stood at the courthouse next to Nashville Mayor Ben West when Fisk student Diane Nash asked the mayor how he could support such discrimination. He could not. And I had to answer it just exactly that way. And we just took that as victory and uh, started clapping and then everybody else started clapping and went on and he, he was, it was over for him. There was nothing he could say after that. Soon after the restaurants opened to all, Vivian pushed intensely for equal rights the rest of his life. Received the country's highest civilian honor from President Obama, always wishing he started sooner. The only thing we did wrong is we stayed in the wilderness a day too long. Terry Bulger, News 4, Nashville. And today, State Representative Mike Stewart releasing this statement. He said, quote, the success of the Nashville sit-ins paved the way for the disciplined, peaceful protest that swept the South, led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It is especially poignant that Reverend Vivian passed away as we are in the midst of a new civil justice campaign in the nation.